Okay, so this is a differential equation question, okay? Uh, NJC promo 2006. Particular species of bears survive only of fresh bamboo shoots. So based on historical data, 1 km square can feed at most 4 bears. And this in this part, there are 225 km square, okay? So the population growth for due to natural birth and death can be given by this DE. N is the maximum number of bears the bear can the park can support. So find the value of n. So part one is pretty straightforward. Okay, part one we are just going to get two two five multiplied by four bears because that is the maximum that it can support. So that will be nine hundred bears. Okay, so this is n equals to nine hundred. Part two. Given that 3% is killed by illegal poachers, modify to include this information using and then use this substitution to show this. Okay, so for part 2, what happened is that for DE, okay, it's always the rate of increase minus the rate of decrease. And for this case, this particular one that's given to you, the, the population growth, this is the rate of net increase due to natural birth and death. Okay, so net increase due to natural birth and death due to the birth and death. Okay, this is the natural causes. Uh, okay, is given by negative one over nine y ln y over n. Okay? But there is also the decrease. This is very skewed by illegal poachers. So rate of decrease is given well, decrease is given by 3% of the bear population. So 0 0.03y. Okay. So y is the population. So 0 0.03y. Okay. So therefore, the d dy dt is rate of increase minus rate of decrease minus 1 over 9 y ln y over n. This is a rate of increase minus the rate of decrease. Okay, so this is what we have in terms of y. Okay, now what we need next is to do our substitution to get in terms of u. Okay, so I'll just change the color to blue now. Now in substitution again, we want to replace the entire y to u. All the y will become u. And we know that dy dt Okay, we need to replace dy dt with du dt. Okay, so there are two ways to replace this. You can either do uh, implicit differentiation, something like du dt equals to ln y over n, so it's n over y dy dt. This is implicit differentiation. Or you can do dy dt equals dy du times du dt. Okay, or du dt equals, uh, no, these are not so good. Yeah, so this is the other way around, but uh, I mean du dt, if I want to do it, du dt equals to du dy times dy dt. Uh, also, can. Okay. So du dy is like the opposite of dy du. So if you differentiate this directly, you get du dy. But the problem is that you get in terms of uh, you may still get a y inside, so you still need to fix it later. Okay, so the objective is to change all these y's and u's into just u, means replace all the y. Okay, so even we get even if we do this first one, and okay, let me just draw a box on this. Even if I draw like this first one, uh, you'll see that there will still a y inside. Okay, so if some sometimes the other one may be better. Sometimes you can just basically replace with y okay if you make y the subject you can just replace with it also can okay so the or we can also do this let me just do another color if we rearrange y over n equals to e power u so y equals to n e to the power of u okay so dy dt if i differentiate implicitly again equals to n e power u du dt so immediately i get all in terms of u 
But if you sub Y equals to NE power U into year, you will also get the same thing. Okay, by right, you should get the same thing. Uh, okay, so, oh yeah, I forgot to multiply something. No, this one should be, there's a careless mistake here. It shouldn't be N, it should be a 1. Okay, if you, if you differentiate again, you'll see that you'll get a 1. Because there's a, there's a N, okay, we need to take out 1 over N. I forgot to take out 1 over N by chain rule. Okay, so if we sub this in, yeah, so, so now if we sub this in, you will get the same answer. Okay? All the di different methods are good for you to check your answers during the exams. Ah. So all these are like different methods. So if you like do this method for exams, you might want to use this to check. So careless mistakes are always around. Okay? So now that we have this, we have our dy dt in terms of u. Now we need to replace these differential equations. Okay? Let me just bring the question down a little okay so from the working okay we will have our dy dt okay the, the dy dt which is above here dy dt change to this so therefore now it will be n e u d u dt equals Negative 1 over 9y. So y is ready. You already have it here. So negative 1 over 9. N E U ln E power U. Or we can just ignore it because we know that that itself is just U. We can just use this straight. Okay. We just we can just use this straight. So we just get U minus 0 0.03 N E U. So even if you have left it in this red color box, huh, you'll just get a Y throughout which you can cancel also, no need NEU as well. Okay. So now we'll just cancel the NEU throughout. We are left with DU DT equals to negative 1 over 9U. Then negative 0 0.03, just change it to negative 3 over 100. Okay. So that is for your part 2. Now part 3. For, for part 3, for part three, uh, uh, what is the long-term stable population of this particular species of bear? So for part three, I'm not sure why is it five marks, but you can actually do it pretty simply. So dy dt, okay, when it's at, when it's long-term stable, right, it means that dy dt must be equals to zero. Okay, so dy dt equals to zero. Then, I mean, that's the stable part because it will, always, it will, it will not be any change. It will stay stable at year. Okay? So, which means that uh, dy dt being 0 also means that n e u d u d t equals to 0. And we know that n and e u cannot be 0. So therefore, d u d t is equal to 0. Okay? So this means that negative 1 over 9 u or negative u over 9 minus 3 over 100 equals to 0. Or u equals to negative 27 over 100. So once we have this, we want to find the long-term stable population. So now we know that y is equals to n e power u. n you have already found, 900. e power u, e power minus 27 over 100. So put into your GC, you should get 687. So that is a long-term stable population. Okay, This long-term stable population is based on based on the both the uh, natural birth and death as well as the 3% population that is killed by the illegal poachers. Okay, now last part, state one assumption. Now assumption itself, uh, sometimes there's no right, no wrong. Uh, okay, so I will say that whatever makes sense. Okay, so they, they use poachers as one of it. We can also use other natural causes. Okay, we assume there are no no other causes of because when we talk about causes it will be things that will affect the life of the and uh, the life of the bears lah, okay which means the whether whether it will cause them to increase or decrease in population so we can assume, assume there are no uh, diseases that may affect the bears that's one of it okay so this will affect that maybe like example maybe one percent a year could be killed by disease. No? 
like pandemic and like the epidemic animals have themselves have their own that's one of the p- potential assumptions okay there could be other assumptions uh maybe disease that affect the bamboos okay so the bamboos may be affected or that assume there are no uh poachers or no people harvesting the bamboo shoots for example just just some of the examples that you can consider because all this could affect the uh food chain of the bears okay also all this that can affect the bears okay so for part four i would say this will be the answer okay